My most prized possession is this record. This woman is my mother. This woman, this woman's my father. <laughs> You know, I've never shared the method to my madness or my secrets or my creative process in DJ. Because oftentimes I think people just take it for granted that DJing is nothing but taking my little laptop, putting some songs together, spinning for a couple of hours and walking away with a nice check. And it's so much more than that. My name is Questlove and this is my masterclass. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Lewis here. Today what we're gonna be talking about is the Questlove Masterclass. Did you notice that I didn't run any ads on this video? It's because I don't run any ads on this video, so make sure to give this video a like and a subscribe. So let's rock and roll. First and foremost, we're gonna do a complete review of Masterclass itself. Then we're gonna log into the Masterclass and review every single one of the lessons to see the value that it ultimately brings you. As always, there's a link in the description which will get you the Masterclass for an unknown amount. They change the price based on the region you're in. So I'm personally in Australia right now. There's currently a two for one membership deal going on so take advantage of that if you're watching this generally these promotions run around the middle of the year as well as christmas so take advantage of that if you want to so always click my link in the description which helps out the channel that is an affiliate link so thank you very much for that as well as if you want to learn a bit more about how affiliate marketing works by all means i have an online education program whereby i teach you exactly how to do it all it's called the online creator institute you can google that if you like and you can you know understand how this whole world of affiliate marketing works but otherwise let's jump right into the review so what exactly is Masterclass in a nutshell. Masterclass is a company where they approach the best of the best talent in the world in multiple different vertical markets, whereby that's food, so that's Gordon Ramsay. You see Aaron Franklin, if you love your steaks, as well as design, style. You're probably gonna hear birds in the background, but hey, I think wilderness. I'm actually doing this review outside because it's fun. If you want to learn about art and entertainment, music, Alicia Keys, Timberland, that's a really good one, by the way. I highly recommend you go and have a look at the Timberland Review Masterclass. It'll be on the top right. But overall, it is a pretty powerful platform. Over 100 Masterclass clusters are available right now from some of the best professionals in the world and of course there is now a business uh, component to it so you can buy it on behalf of your company and if you do do that say create a Lewis sent you because that'll be really cool so let's log into it right now so this is exactly what you see once you invest in masterclass now there are three different basic libraries there's discover whereby you can discover different things is my progress so what classes are you currently doing and your progress within them as well as the menu now the menu is pretty simple there's a community tab which is I would argue the most valuable piece of all of masterclass this is where you're going to meet like-minded DJs, musicians, and all those types of people. So make sure you look at this community. This is, I would argue, more valuable than all of these videos combined. There's gift giving as well. So there's a little hack here where you can actually approach Masterclass and say, hey, listen, I wanna give the gift of just a single class to a friend or a family member of mine, and then that'll allow you to do that. There's articles, which is essentially, if you want more supplementary information on the classes that you're doing, they will be available through a written medium. Bookmarks, basically your favorites. It doesn't really need to exist anymore, in my opinion settings log out now let's jump into the class itself and review every single one of the lessons so in order to start the master class it's quite simple you press the big red button now you can see if I scroll down all of these white labels here indicate that I've watched them so you're getting somebody that has watched these classes there's only one thing I haven't really watched evidently which is the trailer which I have and I watched that on YouTube Otherwise, let's jump into the class workbook right now. This is the Quest Love Masterclass workbook. Now, I'm going to show you the first three pages because I wanna be respectful to those that invest in this. It is 34 pages and it's quite extensive. So if you look at it, it's quite cool and they're very detailed, very high graphics, and there's a lot of information within them. So if you like, pause the video right now and you can read this. I'll actually zoom in a bit for you just so it's a bit easier to read. There you go. And this is really an overview of who he is, what he's all about, and where his passion really comes from. And this guy is an old school DJ. We're talking vinyl here we're talking lifting crates of vinyls to DJ clubs and actually being an old-school DJ I remember I have a few family members that were old, like that where they would have to get a whole pickup truck where they would fill their truck with crates of records and deliver them to the club because he needed his entire sound bank and how he is still very much in love with that entire process so Questlove is a really really old-school DJ there's a lot of history behind him and ultimately get that exposure it's like you're sitting right next to him and he's telling you about his stories about 
career, about how to get into the industry as well as how to actually be good at being a DJ and how to mix things properly. You're getting that exposure. It's like him being a family member right next to you when you do all this. So very, very powerful stuff. So let's continue. The first lesson is pretty basic and it's all about meeting your instructor. And this is where he talks about his experience with an award-winning musician playing for the President Obama for the United States, being a DJ, a drummer to the root and why he's on the late night show. And he said quite literally, listen, I'm only really doing this to generate funds to fuel my DJing and my music collection. And you can see by the images on your screen right now, he has an extensive collection of records. Lesson two is all about music equipment and the setup. And he talks about how you don't need the best setup initially in order to start off. And he answers multiple questions on what are the best things to do when you when you kick off. Do you want records? Do you want CDJs? Do you want a combination of both? And here are the different options from an entry level as well as a really advanced level. So that's really good for someone that wants to get into the heat of things. Lesson three is all about gathering music and organizing and pruning. So all this is really about, and each one of these goes for quite a long time. We're talking 10 to 20 minutes on each one. Then it's about gathering music and organizing them. So what he talks about is really deepening your appreciation and learning for music and how Gresslar listens and absorbs music. So he talks about listening to different genres and figuring out the best pieces of each one in order to create an ultimate playlist and ultimately learning from that music and getting to a point where you're listening to music in a state of flow, if you will, where you just know what's going to happen next which is quite cool. Lesson four is all about Questlove's flow, the technology. So what exactly is his stack, if you will? So learn how to increase your artistry with Questlove's favorite technology. He goes into the music applications he uses. He recommends certain machines. So he looks at, should I be getting a Windows machine or a Mac for music creation and DJing? He answers that here, as well as other musical technology. Lesson five is all about Hey Mr. DJ. So that's a song, by the way. But what he teaches you here is your fundamentals of music DJing. So he talks about the right and wrong ways of mixing music to begin with. A great example is how people don't understand timing. So for example, one of the most critical parts of being a DJ and one of the most fundamental things of being a DJ is understanding the four to eight rule relative to your decks or your CDJs and figuring out how to time these things. And once you have that foundation or that fundamental knowledge, then you can explore and you can experiment. But if you don't have that basic foundation, then you ultimately are working in a flawed manner. You're handicapping yourself if you don't go down that route. Lesson six is probably one of the most inspirational videos of the entire video and that is his experience with Barack Obama. Questlove explains the value of failure and encourages you to take chances as a DJ. So this is where he was playing at the White House and he didn't perform at his ultimate peak and it probably was nerves getting in there and then he dives really deep into the conversation he had with Barack Obama and that is really profound when you have a DJ at this caliber talking to the president of the free world if you will that's quite powerful to hear. So this is one of my favorite videos and it goes into some of the mistakes Barack Obama actually did and how he adapted and he he changed his speech on the fly because what they do in this particular lesson is they compare a DJ set to a presidential speech which sounds quite ridiculous but the reality is both can stuff up both can make mistakes and that's just the way it is and that's just a human element then you see them both join these two things together where you hear about Barack Obama's era when he was doing a speech relative to Questlove's DJing era at the White House and you see how they overcame that so pretty cool i love that one lesson six was really good seven is all about planning your set sequencing and vibe checking so explore quest love's approach to curating a playlist building musical experience for an audience so this is really understanding who am i going to be playing for and what are the different hit boxes or check marks do i need to realize before i actually do this set what am i planning for who is my audience these are the types of questions he asks but obviously there's a lot more in that so this is about planning your dj set lesson eight is training your ears to listen so quest love shows you how to listen to and search for music that finds remarkable moments. So within every track or within a lot of tracks, there are these small little snippets of moments where you can blend them with other small little snippets of music. Really cool and it teaches you how to listen to music in a way that I've never heard before. And this is something that you definitely want to be listening to and learning from if you are a DJ because this way of listening to music will completely change the way you listen to music forever as far as I'm concerned. So now lesson nine goes into more of the big boys, big boy toys. Now, now, this is the advanced techniques that he's using. If I explain them to you right now, you're probably going to get really confused. But for those that are established DJs, I think you will know what he'll be talking about. This 20 minutes alone, or 17 minutes and 16 seconds, this 17 minutes and 16 seconds will probably be one of the most valuable 17 minutes or 20 minutes you will ever get from a technique perspective. So 10 is knowing your roots, the art of crate digging. So crate digging is an old term that they used to use back in the day because they used to use crates for their records. Now, what he talks about 
here is expanding your catalog. What you're going to see on the screen right now is a background of all of the records that he has. He expresses the fact that you need to explore different genres and styles of music and figure out what is your root and how to expand upon that root with all the knowledge that you've gained from all the other genres. Pretty cool perspective on things. Lesson 11 is all about finding inspiration from other DJs. Now on the top right of your screen right now, you're going to see a Armin van Buren masterclass. And this is another great entry into music DJing and understanding how two complete opposites, if you will, you're looking at two different complete sets of types of musicians and musical DJs because Armin van Buren being an EDM producer looks at how you work with the decks or how to become a DJ, as well as, well, this is a lot more detailed. Quest loves look at being a DJ and he's obviously more American R&B pop culture. So you, if you combine those two elements together, both the Armin Van Buren masterclass, as well as the Quest Love masterclass, you're you're creating something quite powerful and then adding your roots to that as well. You know, that's a very interesting animal that you can create there. So that was what my recommendation would be with respect to how you can utilize these classes in the best way once you invest in them. Remember, this is an investment in education. This isn't just like a random entertainment thing. You're, this is like the real deal when it comes to education. So you're learning from one of the best DJs on the planet right now, and there's no denying that. So lesson 11 is really enforcing that, you know, paying tribute to other really good DJs and highlighting their techniques and, and bringing that into your own arsenal. Lesson 12 is all about musicology. Now this is him turning music or creation or playlist building into a science. And he breaks down the music in his playlist and explain the intricacy of his transition. And this is all about really building a story within his sets and how he's using certain types of low end music. And then he's the next track will be a build up to something really epic and then he'll slow things down and then he'll make it really emotional and then he'll, he'll he'll go through all of the different types of nuances within a dj set and it isn't a dj set isn't just okay here is a playlist of tracks there is a story and there is a curve to this thing that he's creating so i highly recommend if you are a dj this is definitely something you need to get on top of the creation of a story a, a narrative within your set and if you don't create it you're not going to be as good as this guy and if you keep doing what you're doing you're going to keep getting the same results so you want to click my link below and invest in this master the class. Now 13 is quite fun. Most of the clips that you've seen in this masterclass is actually from the bonus clip. His masterclass mega mix is actually really, really good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I just wish there was a downloadable version of this, but this set that he makes, it's only 20 minutes, but it's really good. And he packs so many different tracks into this 20 minute period. And that my friends is the Quest Love Masterclass review. Would I recommend it for any DJ in the world? If you're an absolute beginner, absolutely. If you are a pro DJ, this depends on how successful you have been. So if you're extremely successful, you probably don't need it and you already know these fundamentals as well as advanced techniques. Now, if you're an amateur DJ, you're really getting your foot into the front door and you're getting a few gigs here and there, but it's not consistent. This is something that is a no brainer. It's also a tax expense if it's your profession, by the way, just a small side note but yes 100% you want to be getting this for the absolute pro I wouldn't recommend an Armin van Buren or any professional music DJ that's doing it every single night type of thing you probably already know these things so make sure to click my link in the description below there is currently a two-for-one membership going on so if you have a friend or anyone that's interested in DJing as well this is probably a really good opportunity to get two for one so take advantage of that they may not bring this back and as always guys there's a link in the description which you can get the masterclass for an unknown amount they change the price based Based on where you are, your location. So let me know below how much you see it for in your region. So just let me know the country you're in and how much you're seeing the price. Because in Australia, it's currently that price, which is interesting. But hey, there's a two for one thing going on now. I don't know if that's going to come back, but take advantage of that if you see it. So otherwise, everyone, thank you so much for watching the Quest Love Masterclass review. I will see you in the next one. Lewis, out.